All right, new product time, Lady Ada. Okay. All right, new products. Do this thing. Yeah, new products this week. First up, glitchy, glitchy blanket. Blanket. Yeah. This oh, can is, I take the home? Yes, this okay, is good. for us. All right, good. So yeah. we get to keep one. This from Philip Stern, right? This is a Philip Stern's. Yeah, uh, Tonight is it? Nine Philips. All Philips. So this is a really awesome glitch textile. Um, I can hold this up. It's yeah, it's yeah. super soft and comfy, and it has this beautiful like glitch yeah. effect on it. And um, I can show it on the overhead too later if you'd like. But it's yeah. like glitch art, but it's uh, woven into this cool throw, and then you can cover your head with it and. Um, your fears will disappear. Or you can wear it like a poncho a little bit. So there you go. Okay. It's kind of cool. I really like it. And it, it's um, it's it's large enough that you can put on a couch or a bed or whatever. Right. But it is really neat. And we, we met Philip Stearns. And this is like really awesome yeah. art. And the favorite, back looks really neat too. He's one of my favorite favorite living artists. Yeah. Good, good glitch art. Because it'd be, you know what? It's weird to say my favorite dead artist. And aren't these made, are these made in Germany? I believe so. Yeah, I think these are made in Germany. So they're they're yeah. woven at a factory. He sends them the files and they yeah. and they weave them. So this is kind of neat. Oh wait, here there's a little card that comes with it. Yeah. So if you want to check it out, philipsterns.com as well. Glitch oh, yeah. textiles. Okay. All right. So um, next up, LED and LED. It's not an LED. It's not an LED. It mm. looks like an LED, it's not but LED. it's not. What is it? This is a photo transistor. Um, this is a sensor and there's a little, it's, it's kind of the opposite of an LED. When you shine light on it, more current goes through. Yeah. Um, and so it's a little phototransistor. The base is, is, is open and then there's a collector and emitter. So you connect the um, uh, positive leg to ground and the negative leg, the shorter leg, through like a 10K resistor to, um, to ground. So from like three to 15 volts to ground and you use it basically, you wire it like an LED. But when you shine light on it, the amount of current that goes through that choke resistor will increase, and so the voltage will rise. And basically, it's a way to measure light. Uh, there's a little bit of a filter on it. I think it's an IR filter just to um, make the, the spectral response more like human eyesight. And the reason we have this is uh, photo cells are not Rojas compliant. So we wanted to have something that was very similar to a photo cell. It's pretty much equivalent in function. Um, you, it is polarized, but it doesn't have cadmium in it, and so it's real host compliant. So for, for some people's projects or products, they need that, and this is an alternative. Okay. I get it. It's not LED already. I get it's it. It's not LED. No. It looks like it. Well, okay. it kind of is, but it's a backwards LED. Okay. So this is exciting because we get a graphic, and we have a product. This is Parts Pal. Parts Pal. Parts Pal. It's your pal that won't let you down. It's a bunch of parts. <laughs> That's the theme song I'm working on. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a pal that won't let you down. Okay, the parts pal is, um, this is actually a, a, a kit that people have been demanding I do for quite a while, and I finally got around to doing it. It's a, uh, Oops. it's a kit of kind of all of the parts that you would want. Um, it, it's kind of a, 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 a collection an hors d'oeuvre or an appetizer plate or poo-poo hot pot, whatever it is that you want to call it. It's a little bit of everything um, all together in a nice little case. And so let's uh, maybe we'll go to the overhead and I'll go through it. So this is move this over here. So this is the box. Uh, it comes with this box. It's a nice latching box. And inside there's multiple bags and each bag contains a different set of components. So let's start with the big bag first. So you get, oh, hold on, this is not locked. Okay, come on. Okay, this is, oh, sorry, I hit the, the wrong thing. Um, this is a, a half size breadboard, so really handy. You can put components inside of it. You also get a stick of 40 pin uh, breakaway header, so you can break this apart. You also have non breakaway female header. Female header doesn't come in breakaway style, but you can cut it with. Um, snips or with strong scissors if you'd like. How did I get dimmer? Um, you also have some wires. Uh, these are pull apart wires. So you can pull them off and you get 20 short wires and 10 long ones and they come in uh, 10 different colors. So you get like a full set of colors. So it's kind of nice. So good for wiring stuff up. These are really nice premium jumper wires. Kind of my favorite jumpers. I like some of the comments. Parts Pal looks shiny. Parts Pal is every maker's friend. Parts Pal. 
um, will always return the money it lent to you. It never lets you down. Parts Pal. It's true. Parts Pal. Oh, man, maybe we need to do a Parts Pal song contest. Okay. We, we're in the middle of a, a contest right now, but maybe later. Okay, we'll do a song contest. Okay. Everyone ditty. remind us later to do a Parts Pal song, ditty, like a, song contest. Yeah, like a theme song. Okay, right. you'll still get a bunch yeah. of... <laughs> you also get a bunch of LEDs. Um, you get uh, five green five millimeter LEDs, and you get five red LEDs. That's kind of what we started with. And then you also get one 10 millimeter RGB LED. I just love these. These are just so handy because they're like really big. They're great for indicators. Um, they're fairly bright as well. And uh, you can use them in the breadboard and um, you get you know RGB inside of them. So that's kind of nice for, for color mixing. Um, next up, we have some resistors. Uh, you don't get a lot of resistors, but you get enough to get started with. Uh, here's uh, 10 4.7K, 10 1K, 10 560 ohm, and 10 10K. So kind of like a little bit of a starter taster pack of resistors. Um, these are kind of the resistors that I use the most, so I thought that would be handy. Come in a little bag. Um, you also get a bunch of capacitors. These are really handy because you know you can get resistor kits, but capacitor kits are rarer. So this is um, 10 microfarad 50 volt. So that's one set, and you get five of those. You get five 100 microfarad 16 volts. So of course, the lower the capacitance, the higher the voltage. It's usually a trade-off um, when we want to keep it. Um, so you, you know, you, if you really need high voltage, use 10 microfarad. If you are using everyday voltages that most makers use, this is the 100 microfarad will work fine. And then we have 50 volt capacitors, and I'm not going to sort these out, but we have 10.1 microfarad, 10.01 microfarad, and 10.1.0 microfarad. So you kind of get a range of uh, capacitors, and the, the little numbers on them indicate which the value is. So that's kind of handy. Okay, um, so you get capacitors, resistors. Next up is mechanical. These are mechanical parts and some sensors. You get a piezo buzzer. I love these. You can make beepy sounds. You can also use it as a, a basic tap sensor. Um, you can show a microcontroller pin when you tap it. There's a little bit of a voltage spike. And also when you uh, square wave out to it, you can make tones. So very handy, breadboard friendly. You get uh, three breadboard friendly, friendly slide switches. They fit into a breadboard and they, they have, you know, single pull, double throw. Yeah, that's right. I always get those confused. Um, Slide switch, so it's kind of handy. You get three of those. You get um, five six millimeter tactile switches. These are also breadboard friendly, and um, you know press and then the pins short. Handy for basic interfaces. These are super common. You get a uh, one kilo ohm potentiometer. So these are nice breadboard friendly potentiometers, and um, with the twisty knob. And you get a 10k one. So you get one 1k and one 10k. So it's kind of nice. One of each and a uh, nice knob with an arrow. Again, breadboard friendly. You can use it with that solderless breadboard. All this stuff is breadboard friendly, which is kind of a point. You get a 10K thermistor. Uh, it's not as nice as a, a, an analog out temperature sensor, but we have code example. You can use it as a temperature sensor. Um, you just need one of the 10K resistors and uh, set up a divider, and then it's, it's quite easy to measure the voltage and convert it to temperature. You get a photocell, so a light sensor. And you get a vibration switch, so when you um, flick it or when something moves, the two pins short together. So it's another easy way to sense motion. I call it the, the poor woman's accelerometer. If you just want to, to tell that something's moved, this is a good sensor to use. Um, okay, so those are the little sensors and such. And then we're not done yet. We have one more baggie. You can tell there's a lot of parts. There's like 170 total parts. Um, and this is the anti-stat bag, so you can tell it's going to be silicon components or uh, uh, semiconductor components. So you get five power diodes. These are one in 4001 power diodes. These are good as um, flyback or power or full wave or, or half wave rectifier. So it's one in 4001s. You get five sig single signal diodes, one in 4148s. Uh, can be used as small flybacks, but also really good for just um, uh, you know signal diodes. You, you don't want to use to put use them for power regulation so much. But if you want to you know have uh, voltage go only one direction, you want to um, uh, use this as part of a filter or something. Very useful. Though. I'm always using diodes and stuff for things. Um, uh, 
This is, sorry, one LD33, 3.3 volt, uh, one amp or so voltage regulator. So if you need a 3.3 volt output, you get that. Two L, uh, 78LO5s, so sorry, 7805s, one amp five volt regulators. So handy if you need to get a five volt regulated output. And then um, you get five NPN transistors and five PNP transistors are kind of common. I think they're like 30 volt uh, transistors, about 200 milliamps probably each. Good for all sorts of power switching. You can actually do quite a bit. Uh, these are pretty good transistors. So if you want to uh, power high, high voltage stuff from a microcontroller pin, you can use this. Uh, you can use it for um, powering a small motor with the flyback diodes and um, do basic stepper motor control and stuff. You can make it a slightly crummy but still functional H-bridge if you really, really needed to. And then finally, uh, TLC555. So this is a um, wide voltage range and low current 555 timer. I really like this particular 555. It's a little more expensive than the any 555, but it's CMOS, not TTL. So it comes in foam. And um, you can run off of batteries. You can run off of a AAA battery even, um, which is really nice. And uh, it, I think it goes up to a megahertz. So okay. great for all sorts of timing needs. All right, that's parts pal. That's, yeah, no, there's a lot, but I want to explain every component. So I think it covers everything that you need. Um, I'm not against adding more parts later, but I wanted to get started with this. Um, I wanted to basically be able to make it $20 because I think that's an important price to hit so that you can when you get this, you're kind of you know that you'll have enough to build all the projects that you're working on. I mean, it you, you doesn't come with a microcontroller. You'll want you know an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi to go with it. But no matter what you have, you can probably make it work. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of components that will um, can be used with any kind of microcontroller or microcomputer electronics yeah. project. You can do analog, five 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 timer. You know, you Except don't even no need. imitation. Don't buy breadboard buddy. He's not your buddy. <laughs> He's not your buddy. Breadboard buddy's a liar. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's not a bad name, actually. Yeah, Breadboard well, buddy. no, because you know, I, I, when we think about names, there was this uh, doll back in, like, the 80s. It was like, my buddy, my buddy, me. And it was, and then the movie Chucky came out, and it was this doll that, like, hurt kids and stuff, and it was super scary. So that's why it's not Breadboard Buddy. It's Parts Pal. We also wanted to have it be gender neutral. Yeah. Yeah, pal is pal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. And the star of the show, besides you this week, is uh, it's the precision real time clock? This clock thing. Um, we're going to be making a feather wing out of this as well. It's coming soon. But this is a little breakout for the DS3231. Uh, it's a high precision real time clock. What's neat about this is it has the crystal that normally would come with your real time clock, the little 32 kilohertz crystal. It's inside the chip. And there's a temperature sensor. And the temperature sensor. Uh, measures you know how the temperature is moved up and down and uses that to compensate the crystal so that um, it can keep time very 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 precisely i think it's like two parts per million yeah. uh, precision it's something ridiculous it's the it's pretty much the most precise real-time clock we've seen outside of like you know a temperature compensated clock standard from like cell towers you know, people always pick those up on ebay um, those are totally awesome but um, if you want something that can fill in your breadboard and off a coin cell this is your best bet. Um, it's very small and cute and uh, breadboard friendly. So uh, if you okay. need precision real time, this will work. It has a nice battery backup capability. It's all good. Yeah. All right. More feathers next week. That's right. OK. And with that is new products. That was it. Bing. Woot.